Adobe introduced the bullets and numbering feature to Adobe Illustrator about a year ago in version 2022. And there's been an improvement made since then. So for those of you who are already using this feature, let's just start with that improvement quickly here. If I right click on this numbered list, I'm able to convert this list from numbers into editable text. If I come down here to bullets and numbering, and then here, convert to text, and you'll see that now I have a baseline here. And with the text tool, I can just come in here and get rid of that space. I can change this to a nine. It's all editable. So that's convert to editable text. I'll go ahead and delete this. Now let's start from the beginning and I'll show you how to use this feature. Whether you have area text or point text, as long as you put paragraph returns between there, you can select that text and turn it into a bulleted or a numbered list. One way to do this is just by right clicking on it and then down to bullets and numbering and apply bullets. We also have buttons here on the top control bar and then also the same buttons are over here in the properties panel if I just scroll down. You can use these buttons to remove or apply bullets and same with numbering. You can take a bulleted list and click on that button to apply numbers or click on the button to remove them. You can also find this function in the type menu, of course. Let's go ahead and I'll apply these bullets by clicking the button. And then on all of these buttons here, we have this downward pointing arrow that gives us some choices for different looking bullets. And then I can come over here to more options and open up this panel. This allows you to control the spacing and the level. You'll find with bullets, you're gonna have sort of a default setting here. Left alignment with 18 points or negative 18 points. And of course, these look different depending on your document unit of measure. So if I change this first line indent here to make the bullets closer to the text, I can click OK. But notice, I'll just remove these and I'll apply them again, clicking the button. What happens is it keeps the same style as the last bullet you chose, but it resets to that default spacing. So I point this out because if you are somebody who uses bullets a lot, you may want to set up a paragraph style that has your preferred spacing in it. That way you can just apply it elsewhere in your document without having to go over here and constantly go to the options and reset these numbers here. I'll just cancel that. I'll delete these and let's take a look at this numbered list here. So you can see if I go up to the button and remove the numbers and then reapply them, what we have here is some kind of messed up spacing. So the default isn't gonna work here and I wanna show you how to change this. So I'll go up to this little arrow, click on more options. And what I want to do is change the alignment so that the numbers are all aligned on the right hand side to the dot. So I'll change this to right and you'll notice nothing happens. So I've seen Illustrator be a little sticky here. So I'm just pointing this out. You can go to center align like that, and then you can go to right align and that seems to wake Illustrator up. So now I have all my numbers aligned to the right. Now I'll just do a little adjusting here to change the spacing. So I've got this at a negative 12 points. So now that spacing between the number and the item is a little closer and I'll click OK. Next, I wanna make this a multi-level list. So I'll get my type tool here and just highlight a couple of these items. Go over to the properties panel to this button, get the options menu. And for this, I want to change this to A and B. And I want the level here to be level two. So I'm moving this up here. So this is level one indentation, and this is level two indentation, which by default is 36 points instead of 18 points. It also defaults to the capital A and B when I choose level two, so I have to switch back to the lowercase A and B. And I'm happy with the default position, so I'll just go ahead and click OK. So I'm going to need to select each of these that I want to change. 
and then come over into the options menu, change it to level two. We see we get the default. I'm gonna go ahead and switch that to lowercase and then click okay. I'll do the same here, selecting these three items and then back to the options menu, level two, and then I'll change the style and then click okay. You can make this go a little faster using the tab key, but you'll be using the default levels. So here I'll just set my cursor there, tap tab, and then here I'll tap tab twice or a few more times to change the level. You can also use shift tab to lower the level. Tab twice. I'll leave this there, tab, tab, and then down here, tab, tab, and tab. So that's how to make a multi-level list. Here I have an example that can help us understand a little bit about the position spacing. So here is my text. I'm just gonna select the portion of the text that I wanna make a bulleted list from. And then I'll click on the bullets button here and let's go ahead and open up the options panel. And you can see as I click on the level number, we see the indentation here is gonna change with, with each level. So I'm going up to two, three, four, five, and so on. We can go all the way up to nine levels here. And each time the style of the bullet changes and the left indentation changes. So for this example, I'll set it back to level one. And then let's say I just wanna make this more indented. So I'll make this 30 here and I'll keep the first line indentation the same. All right, and I'll click okay. Now let's take a look at a numbered list so we can see the same thing. So over here, I'll select this, get the type tool, go up to apply a numbered list and then get the options. And I'll just do the same thing here, clicking up on the level button, just to show you how the indentation and the numbering style changes. And we can go up to nine levels. I'll go ahead and enter one, and then I wanna make some changes here. So I'm gonna to go to alignment and change this to right alignment, like we did before to make those numbers align on the right hand side, but of course, it's being sticky again. So let me go to center and then right, and now it's working. So with right alignment, we can see it's now outside of the bounding box for this text. So I'll go ahead and change the indent here to let's make it 48. So it's clearly inside the box here. And then I'll move this number up just so that the numbers get closer to the items and then click okay. So just seeing that in the context of a text box helps me to understand the spacing for bulleted and numbered lists, and hopefully that helps you too. And also, I don't know if you saw this, but there are a few extra numbering styles and an extra bullet style that you can find when you go through those levels that aren't part of the buttons. Interesting. All right, I have just one more thing to show you. Here, we're gonna add special characters like these right here to an existing bulleted list. So create your bulleted list and then with the type tool, come up here, go ahead and open up the options and change this to the none option. Then place your cursor, so let's click okay first, then place your type cursor here and type one of these characters here. So let's say I want it to be a plus sign I type a plus and then I tap the space bar. Then place your cursor at the end of that word and tap return. And so we can see now we have that list starting. So what I'll do is I'll just cut all of those out there, just selecting them and cutting them. And then I can paste them back in here at the cursor. All right, so that's how you add a special character to a bulleted or numbered list. Now, going back to something I said earlier, when you've gone to all the trouble to create something like this, it's helpful to save it as a paragraph style. So quickly, let's see, I'll close my properties panel. And here I have my paragraph styles panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus sign, but here's a tip. If you hold the option or alt key as you click the plus sign, 
you'll open up the new paragraph style panel here. And then I can just type in plus bullets like that. And now I've created a style that includes all of the character formats, but it also, if we come here to bullets and numbering, it includes the same spacing that we had and we can't see the special character here, but I'll show you how you can apply this. So if I come over here, I'll go ahead and sort of reset these bullets and then click on the paragraph style for the plus bullets and I've added them. All right, so that's everything I know about bullets and numbering in Adobe Illustrator. If you like this video, please give me a comment and a like and subscribe to my channel. My name is Laura Coyle and I teach Adobe Illustrator online at my website, lauracoylecreative.com. Come and check it out for our courses, community, and live Zoom calls every month.